gentleman from Illinois is recognized for one and a half minutes. Thank you. You know, our colleagues on the other side of the aisle, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, seem to be absolutely obsessed with taking away a woman's right to make her own personal health decisions with her own money. Today, we could be extending unemployment benefits to 1.6 million Americans. Instead, we're considering legislation that would discriminate about, against a woman's right with her own money to pick an insurance policy. We could be raising the minimum wage instead of effectively banning abortion coverage in the ACA market, even, not, even though not a penny of federal dollars will go to do that. We could be passing the Healthy Families Act to provide sick leave, paid sick leave, instead of erecting more barriers to women's ability to protect their health and, yes, including access to safe and legal abortions. We should be defeating this legislation for three reasons. First, because women and their doctors and not politicians should make their own health care, should be making the health care decisions. Secondly, because we should not be, under, uh, be undermining access to comprehensive insurance co coverage of women's health, insurance paid by the insured woman, not the government. And third, because we have more pr pressing priorities to address. It is time that we moved on to things that matter to the American people and not continue this relentless war on women's rights. And I yield back.